songwriter that, you know, did certain things, he's gonna say, hey man, guess what happened? I mean, you know, obviously he's not gonna uh, tell me in front of people, right, Carlos? <laughs> no, no, but honestly, it word spreads like that. So, so you have to be very careful um, with what you're presenting, if you have everything in line, and, and make sure that the bottom line to everything is if it's a great song or not, if the talent is there or not. You know, once you get past that, then you start looking into, you don't need to be an attorney, but you actually have to know at least the basics. We've got like maybe a few more minutes before we got to jump on to the next panelist. Uh, just a real quick one. Um, is there any particular obstacles that you're seeing right now, especially with digital, right? Um, as far as you or you re receiving license requests from businesses, from potential users that you're just not in agreement with so one topic or anything like that, anything particular, you're like, no, I'm not cool with that, or that you have to stop and negotiate with them or something. Well, uh, the you know, NOIs, uh, everybody wants to kind of use songs, but they don't want to pay for it. No, so, bonds, you know, <laughs> if you're, in, you know, you obviously all of you guys want to be professionals in this industry and want to get paid for it. It has to be uh, something that you're able to live, live off of. I mean, who, who goes into a, a doctor's office and says, hey, you know, hey, uh, treat me, but I'm not going to pay you. What's the doctor going to do, right? Or, hey, I want my, my tooth pulled and, sorry, for free, you know? No, it doesn't happen. So why should we as professionals, as musicians, as publishers, as producers, as beat makers,